Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. The story of Lil Nas X exemplifies how the music industry shapes and molds celebrities according to the long-term goals of the occult elite. And these goals include turning young people into highly confused degenerates. After releasing Old Town Road, a somewhat wholesome country rap song that was highly popular with young people, LNX got signed with Columbia Records in 2019. Almost immediately after, he came out on this magazine cover. The one I sign means that he's not an independent artist anymore, he's an industry slave. In the months that followed, everything about him changed. The lyrics, the imagery, the wardrobe, and the general messaging. From a quirky rapper with a penchant for the viral, LNX became a poster boy for explicit homoerotic imagery, combined with overt satanic symbolism. In other words, the industry found a perfect vessel to push its agendas on the urban demographic, a few years after this satanic mess, LNX is back with another mediocre song combined with a similar gimmick. Before the release of J. Christ, LNX posted a series of pictures and videos on social media, where he claimed that he's now a Christian. Of course, it was a lie, and yet another excuse to mock Christianity. And, judging by the comments on these posts, people hate whatever he was trying to do. In a photo posted on Instagram, LNX mocks the crucifixion of Christ. One commenter notes that it's weird that he needs to do this to stay irrelevant. Well, if he didn't do this, the industry would throw him in the garbage because he'd be useless. In another lame attempt at being funny, LNX, or whoever, posted an acceptance letter to a Christian college. Of course, it is fake, as a Liberty University rep stated that he was never accepted there. With these weak attempts at promoting a song, the table was set for a weak attempt at a hit single. J. Christ is very similar to LNX previous video Montero. It's a computer-generated mess of symbolism and biblical imagery, complete with attempts at virality and gimmicks. The video begins with a line of people dressed in white, climbing stairs to heaven. As gospel music plays in the background, yes, he's also mocking gospel, we realize that all of these people are celebrities, look-alikes. Among the celebrities are Oprah, Kanye West, and Barack Obama. And that might be the joke. Atop the stairs, is the last person you want to see after dying. Lil Nas X. In this scene, LNX is probably playing the role of Saint Peter at the pearly gates, but with satanic inversions. So, in this scene, LNX is dressed as a woman, complete with makeup and fingernails, while wearing a choker that says sexy. It doesn't take an expert in theology to understand that this whole display is blasphemous. LNX sexy choker refers to indulging in humanity's animalistic instincts, a core concept of Satanism, while in heaven, as a spiritual being, with God. Also, Satanism is all about mocking and corrupting Christian symbols, so LNX is holding a rosary to the camera. Then, LNX showcases a symbol on his hand. It looks like a sigil, a symbol created for black magic, which clearly includes an inverted cross, the main symbol of Satanism. This sigil is seen throughout the video. Then, LNX slides down a stripper pole directly to hell. LNX tries to be sensual, next to human corpses being boiled in a cauldron. Once again, a mainstream music video contains a reference to cannibalism, one of the insane obsessions of the occult elite. They're desperately trying to make it cool and sexy. Wearing high heels and a negligee, LNX stands under a demonic head bearing the inverted cross symbol. The message is, he's still Satan's Ow! Speaking of which, Satan makes yet another appearance in an LNX video. 
Instead of grinding on Satan's noodles like in Montero, LNX shoots some hoops with him. Wow, Satan is so much fun to be with. Satan wears LNX shoes, on which was added a satanic sigil. In case you were wondering, the Bible verse Luke 10 18 says. And he said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. LNX is not only a baller, he's a cheerleader. Although there exist male cheerleader outfits, LNX and a bunch of other dudes prance around in skirts. After chilling with the devil for a while, LNX then decides that he's Jesus. Here, LNX is crucified. And upside down. Yup, we're treated to another inverted cross, while LNX mocks Jesus. Above LNX head, etched tried on the crucifix, is the satanic sigil seen throughout the video. Meanwhile, LNX raps, back 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 up out the gravisite. I'm back like J Christ. I'm finna get the gaze hyped. I'm finna take it yay high. Yes, he used the word bitch in the same line as the word Christ. That's something Satan's bitch would do. In another scene, LNX shaves a lamb while wearing a fabulous sheepskin vest. Once again, this scene is highly symbolic. It is most likely a reference to Jesus being called the Lamb of God by John the Baptist. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. John 1 29. This scene might also refer to the saying, a wolf in sheep's clothing. The wolf in sheep's clothing is an idiom from Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, as narrated in the Gospel of Matthew. It warns against individuals who play a duplicitous role. The Gospel regards such individuals, particularly false teachers, as dangerous. Duplicitous is indeed an appropriate word to describe this LNX video. Then, the video gets even weirder. A lady worships LNX as he's attending the Met Gala. As seen in previous videos, the Met Gala is an annual meeting of industry slaves, who parade around while wearing ridiculous outfits, ranging from humiliating to outright satanic. Despite him being nobody's favorite artist, LNX is invited to this ad display every single year. The video celebrates this fact as an achievement. In an apparent quest to ridicule the entire Bible, LNX then turns into Noah. This scene is reminiscent of Obama's movie Leave the World Behind, another piece of elite-funded indoctrination disguised as entertainment. As the entire world is flooded, LNX dances around with his buddies in front of a billboard, with yet another message mocking Christians. On the right is a red neon cross. The video ends with the creation of a new, satanic, world. The last shot of the video. LNX arch, adorned with a satanic sigil under the mocking of a biblical verse. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end, to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. When the video was released, it was nearly universally hated. I say nearly, because one organization absolutely loved it. The head of the Church of Satan, took time from his busy schedule of sacrificing to praise LNX. While the Church of Satan enjoyed the video, the rest of the world that doesn't actively worship the devil hated it. Not only were a huge number of comments on social media and YouTube negative, but numerous artists knocked him for disrespecting the Christian faith. Lecrae is one of the many artists who commented on LNX blasphemous video. Following this criticism, LNX published an apology video on social media, saying that he messed up bad. Here's the beginning of it. Hello everybody. I wanted to not necessarily apologize, but I wanted to explain where my head is at, and where it's been for like the last week. First of all, when I did the artwork, I knew there would be some upset people or whatnot. Simply because, you know, religion is a very sensitive topic for a lot of people. But I didn't mean to like mock. This wasn't like a f to you people. To the Christians. You know, it wasn't that. It was literally me saying, oh I'm back, I'm back like Jesus. That was like the whole thing. I'm not the first person to dress up as Jesus. I'm not the first rapper. I'm not the first artist and I won't be the last. And I know that given my history with, you know, the call me by your name video, anything that I do related to religion can be seen as like mockery. But that just wasn't the case with this. He said all that while looking like this. 
because everything relating to him is cheap and gimmicky. This apology might have been planned before the video even came out, to squeeze a couple more headlines from the controversy. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.